Today's video, we are going to be taking Theo, my capuchin monkey, and introducing him to Duke, my Italian Danish puppy. Guys, Theo just caught a moth. He's like almost giving him a back massage. Oh my gosh, Theo, you love your big brother? What is up guys and welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all are having an amazing Sunday and enjoying your day so far. But guys, in today's video, we are going to be taking Theo, my capuchin monkey, and introducing him to Duke, my Italian Danish puppy. Now, if some of you are new to the channel and have no idea who or what I'm talking about, well, Theo is my capuchin monkey and he is actually not so much a baby anymore. He is actually about to turn a year old next month on May 24th. So literally, literally in less than a month. And Duke is my puppy that I got last year. Now, he's about nine nine to ten months old and now if you're not familiar with the breed Italian Dana that is actually a cane corso mixed with a great Dane and guys I, I lied to you he he is no puppy he is literally a beast so we're gonna be introducing Theo my capuchin monkey to a beast now before we head inside and get Theo ready to play with his big puppy brother we are going to say hello to Duke so this is the big Duke right here now guys he's a beast so he's about nine to ten months old and this little guy right here coda i actually got coda before i got duke and coda here is almost two years old and guys come on let me show you the difference between the two duke come on come on duke guys look at this here coda sit 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 okay duke sit sit guys look at that stay these are two well-behaved little boys, and you can just tell the difference that Duke is just a big old baby, but he is a big old beast. Now, even though Duke is very well-mannered and listens very well, he's still a puppy, so he has puppy tendencies. Now, he, he is one slow and just loving big old pup, and he, he literally can't even hurt a fly, but if you look at these paws, guys, look at this. This paw is huge and is almost the size of my face. So he actually sometimes uses his paw to play with some of these animals. So while playing with Theo, this is gonna have to be a completely supervised visit to make sure nothing goes wrong. Even though I know you're gonna be so sweet to him and, and you wouldn't even hurt him. I know, I know you're gonna be the nicest little big boy ever. Now guys, I honestly can't wait to see Theo's reaction because Theo is very, very curious when it comes to the dogs. Now he hasn't actually played full on with the dogs, but he's had a couple interactions and whenever the dogs come up to their cage, he will literally just grab their ears, grab their mouth, and just loves to be hands-on and playing with them. And the dogs don't really mind it, especially Duke. You can see he, he is a big old lazy guy, and he doesn't mind anything. But I just can't wait to see Theo's reaction. So guys, what I'm going to do right now is we're going to head inside. Theo actually needs to eat, so we're going to make him his afternoon bottle. So guys, we have everything set up to make Theo's afternoon bottle and afternoon feeding. So right here we have the bottle, we have his formula in the jar that we pre-make and it's ready to go whenever he needs a bottle. I also pre-cut all the vegetables and fruit, so here's the end of it. So we're gonna have to cut some, you know, in the next coming days, but I like to pre-cut everything. This whole jar was full of fruits and veggies, so the first thing we're gonna do is literally just grab a handful and put it in his dish right here. You can see one side's already filled with water and then we're gonna fill the fruits and vegetables and the primate diet which is essential for his diet okay here we go you want a little piece of that you want you want a little bite yeah just go just stick a little bite okay you got it you got it Theo? okay so we're gonna we're gonna just give you a little piece right here and as he munches that what i like to do is i literally just like to break this up like this in tiny little pieces so he's able to just grab it and just stick it in his mouth so it's not too much for him to chew on. We're gonna just break up a little bit more. And that is perfect. Now that we got his afternoon feeding ready, we are gonna get his afternoon bottle ready. So we're gonna pop this jar and open. Now he eats about four bottles a day still. He actually eats full bottles. So we like to fill it all the way to the top. So we're going, we're going. All right, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna a little lick of that, Theo? Mmm, that's so tasty. So now that we have filled the bottle completely up, we're gonna pop it in the microwave till it's nice and warm. Theo's bottle is nice and warm, and you can see he's very, very eager to eat his bottle. So what we're gonna do is, he, he's already got his mouth in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, you yell of your bottles. And just look at him chow his bottle down. Now he, he's not gonna take any breaks. He literally just gulps this entire bottle in one go. I mean, look at him. Do you love it? Look at the, look how he's holding my hand. You wanna you wanna hold the bottle? Here, let's see if we can hold the bottle. 
Look at that, guys. You're such a smart little boy. You're so smart. And you have a little booger in your nose. Can I, can I get the booger? Can I get it? Let's see. Do I get the booger? Yeah, he lets me pick his booger sometimes. Look. We got a nasty booger out, guys. And Theo is done with his bottle, and he wants nothing to do with it. But now that he's done with his bottle, we're going to head outside so Duke and Theo can play. So we're outside. We got our blanket laid down. We got Duke already laying here. So we're going to go on ahead and see these two play for the very first time. So... Come on, Theo, look. <gasps> look. Oh my goodness. Theo, do you see him? Theo is not even interested. He's literally looking at the trees. Come here, Theo, look at him. <gasps> oh my goodness. And you're not interested at all. Guys, Theo just caught a moth. Do you see this? He literally, look at that. Theo. <gasps> he is literally killing this moth. Theo, what are you doing? Now guys, if you didn't know this, if you all thought that capuchin monkeys were just herbivores, well, believe it or not, these guys are actually omnivores. So this is actually what they do in the wild. They'll catch insects and bugs like this and literally tear them to pieces. I mean, look, he literally killed that little guy. Theo, look, Theo, look. Look at him, guys. He is literally catching him and trying to eat him. Do you see him? Is that tasty? Oh my goodness, that's so good and nutritious. So Duke decided that he didn't want to be part of meeting little Theo today, but you can see that Theo is loving, loving Coda. I mean, look at him. Okay, Coda, you gotta sit down. You, you can't stand up, buddy. You're gonna hurt this little bite. You're gonna hurt him. You're gonna hurt the little bite. Whoa. Whoa, Theo! What are you doing, buddy? Come here. Theo, okay, Coda, sit, sit, sit. Come on, let's go, Theo. You wanna see your brother? Oh my goodness, look at these two guys. They are literally inseparable. They they love each other, guys. It's love at first sight. Whoa, Theo, what are you doing? We're not trees. Guys, are you seeing this? How how Theo is with little Cody Bear right here? I mean, he is on his back and he is, he's like almost giving him a back massage. Theo, do you love him? Cody, what the heck do you have on your back, buddy? What the heck is that? Do you love him? Look at his ears, you wanna smell them? Mm, those are those are some stinky dog ears. Do you, do, do you want to look inside his ear? Look at that. It's really dirty. So Theo is just just investigating. He wants to stick his fingers in there, and Cody did not like that. So me and Theo are just gonna do a little investigating into Cody's paw. Look, Theo. Look what the heck. Do you see that? Are those some stinky feet? Yeah. Those those are those are dog fingernails. Come here and look. Theo. What the heck? Look at that. Whoa. What are you doing, buddy? Do you love each other? I mean, look at these two. They are so adorable together, just hanging out on his head. Oh my goodness. So Duke here is just crazy interested in, in Theo right now. I mean, look at these two. Oh my gosh, Theo, you love your big brother? Oh my goodness, her, her little brother? What are you doing, Tay? Come here, Duke, Duke, look. Look at your brother, he's climbing trees. Do you wish you could do that? Theo, do you see him? Duke is waiting at the tree for you. Look at him. He wants to give you love. Guys, look at these two. Oh my goodness, look how adorable. Theo, look. Do you love him so much? He loves you, Duke. You love playing with him and grabbing his, his nose in his mouth? And Theo has discovered the other side of the tree. So he's actually been jumping from this side to, guys, look at that. He's about to jump to this other tree right here. Look at him go. I mean, look, look at him just use his tail, use his hands. And he has kind of, you know, lost some interest in playing with Duke. But since they've been playing all day, that is going to end today's video, guys. But guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. Now, guys, comment down below if you enjoyed big old Duke and little baby Theo playing. Now, if you guys want to see more content with these two, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.